Hello people, I wanted to show you how you can solve this problem using Combinatrix. So, uh, just to reiterate it, our goal is to get from here to here, where the uh, star, where the star is. And we can move only one square at a time, only one square to the right, or one square to the down. To down. So uh, we always have to uh, get closer to the star, always right or down. Now, if we are writing a program for a robot or nav navigating someone, we can write a path here like right, one more right, then down, then go right, then down, down, and so on to the star. And that's what I want to base my combinatorics solution. Uh, just uh, to say what we are, what's, what we are looking for, it is the number of ways. How many ways are there from here to here? How many different ways? So we are, we have always ten steps in our program because it is five downs and five rights. And five rights. Now let's imagine it is Obviously, it's gonna be a permutation. So we have, if we had uh, ten people, like this, and so on, and I wanted to line them into a row. In the first place in the row, there could be ten people. In the second place, there can be only nine people. Now another place, only eight people. So the possibility, the number of possibilities of this alignment is ten times nine times eight and so on times one, or we can write it as ten factorial. But uh, we have uh, two, only two letters. And every D is interchangeable. So if we have path like R, D, R, and we flip those two R's, the resulting path is the same. It's R, D, R. So nothing changed. changed. So it's not 10 factorial ways, but uh, we have to divide it by how many switches between R's there are times how many D's between switches there are. switches between D's there are so it is 5 factorial because if we have 5 R's times 5 factorial for our uh, for our D's and if you do it on your cal calculator the result is 252 as expected. Thanks for watching.